Hello there, Gemini. It looks like as a new cycle comes in, the upward spiral of grace leads to a decision to reconnect with someone. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello everyone, welcome in. This is a Gemini Tarot reading. It's a general reading, usually between two energies. <laughs> Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you today. Ooh, how much good can you handle? Number 39, that goes to what? 12 down to a three. Explore the upward spiral of grace. This feels like a springboard for someone. Build in breaks. Number 15 reduced to a six. Saunter slowly. Okay. Oh, this one? Okay. There, it feels like there's a, a general starting over vibe here, but it's coming from a good place. It's coming from knowledge, understanding, and experience. So there's, it's not starting at zero. It's just starting new. Um, this is encouragement to not let this overwhelm you. Take it in steps. Okay, so you could make it solid all the way through. The Upward Spiral of Grace. Let's see if we see what that's about. Show me what's going on. Well, Gemini, please. Show me what's going on with Gemini. Um, show me what's going on with Gemini, please. Show me what's going on with Gemini. Okay. Right. Ace of Wands there underneath. Okay. It's that beginning. It is inspired, full, <laughs> possibly a risk for some of you. Beginning the fool's journey, wow. Three of pentacles, ace of swords, eight of cups, four of pentacles, six of swords, page of cups. Mm. Okay. I mean, this is you, this is them, this is the situation. This does feel like approaching a past person. This person is a little bit, they've gone through a lot in life, and I'm sure they've gone through a lot in connection with you, hence why disconnect, right? But there's something here where they are adamant about trying to decide how much truth to tell you about the past? How much is worth telling, Gemini? Would it even matter? Would it make any difference at all, any change? Okay, because they're only showing up in their smallest heart space. That doesn't mean that's all they have, mind you. But that's what's showing up when they are speaking with you. Okay. You're wanting some serious reconnection here. So I think I understand why it's saunter slowly, take it a step at a time. This is not going to be an instant thing. Okay. This is something that you've been looking forward to. Even if you were in relationship with someone else, even if you were busy with career, you know, business, whatever, family, this is something that has always been on the back of your mind. Okay. So it looks like you, you, this was the time and space to have the courage to reconnect. There is understanding that heart, a heart was broken here. If not, hearts were broken here. And understanding where confusion may have been misconstrued as manipulation, which makes the pain, which makes the heartbreak worse, right? Okay. Let's get into this situation and see where we go. So rebuilding something, the previous connection, a step at a time. Show me the fool. 
King of Coins, Taurus Energy, Nine of Cups, Magician, Judgment. Page of Coins. Ooh, show me what we're learning. Show me what we're learning, please. That change was necessary. Or the cycle would never complete. Five of Pentacles, World, which is fixed energy. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, for those keeping track of Zodiac on the board. With the Five of Wands. That change had to happen. It was inevitable, unavoidable. You could fight the universe kicking and screaming all you want. It was a must. Okay. Because... Magician is you're the age you're the agent of change. Judgment is the universe is. You have absolutely no control over it. Okay. So this is going for the wish. The wish of manifesting this King of Pentacles is this person. So they could have strong Taurus energy, could be strong earth sign, or just someone you see as spouse, long term partner. Okay. Accepting that this is your ultimate wish, trying to manifest that and working to manifest that makes the universe actually step in to help it come into being. And in this step-by-step -step process, understanding that, okay, it wouldn't have worked before because changes had to be made within one or both of us in order to have this, to have any kind of success rate. Show me the three of coins for Gemini. Show me the three of coins. Okay. Lovers. Ten of Wands. Page of Swords. Lovers, that is your card. Okay. You are done waiting to see. You're done with other things that have distracted you from reconnecting with this. You're done, done, done. Okay. Um, it's now time for good things. And now you're looking out into the world to see where this person is. And what they're up to. Show me the Eight of Cups. Queen of Cups. Hangman. Six of Wands. Ah. Ego versus the heart. The mind versus the heart. A tale as old as time. Where the ego gets the best of us. And makes decisions that actually aren't in our best interest for it. And the clarity of what is actually in the heart space or was at the time. Mm. Interesting. Okay. Show me the six of swords. Hierophant. Card of Taurus. Five of Wands. Wheel of Fortune, Strength, Card of Leo. Mm, okay. Taurus Energy again. See, you you couldn't you couldn't avoid the changing. You you couldn't. It's almost like the universe had to bring you to your knees in some kind of way to make you. <laughs> and hey, been there, done that. It sucks. And I always recommend being the agent of change instead of the recipient. Because then you don't feel as broadsided. Okay. Let's see what's going on with them. Okay. Let's start with the Ace of Swords. Death card of Scorpio. Strength card of Leo. <laughs> Queen of Swords. Devil. Yep. Card of Capricorn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this person accepted that when the, and this feels like something they will communicate. Like, hey, um, uh, the surprise that I'm hearing from you. Um, things have been over for a while. It, it got bad for me, so I had to go. So what, what, what's the deal? <laughs> what's, what's the deal? I made the decision to leave this behind. 
full stop. Show me the, the four of pentacles. Judgment. Knight of cups. Yeah, they don't want to go through this again. Seven of swords. Five of coins. They feel like they got hung up, there, that their heart got hung out to dry in this whole experience. Hence why, very guarded. Very, very, very guarded. Show me the page of cups, please. Oh, okay. The wheel, eight of coins. Two of wands, ace of wands. Mm -hmm. this, this honestly looks like a significant apology being made to this person that helps turn the tide a bit. And they seem to be evaluating pros and cons. What is Gemini prepared to do for this connection? They're prepared to go to war for it. They're prepared to go to war for it. To secure, yeah, go to war and then spoils of war. Secure the connection. I keep hearing by any means necessary. <laughs> oh, is Gemini becoming an emperor? Interesting. Well, that could change things, maybe. We have Leo and Taurus here again. What are some signs of change in Gemini? There's the emperor again. Ah, five of cups, ace of cups. So the test of being an emperor had to do with losing them. What does the hangman see? There's something where Gemini has learned there's been a tweak in how they observe being single versus taken. As in personal personal experience-wise, they could have, uh, y'all could have um, a problem with um, formal commitment, like getting married, um, and see more of a value in single kind of thing. But there's something there where if you were any kind of commitment foe, but with this person, you understand why they're single. They're a catch. Actually, they were the catch. Got it. Thank you. They were the catch. You had the wrong idea about them. So what's the idea that Gemini has now? You want to win their heart big time. Yep. Yeah, you do. You want to win their heart big time. Even if you got to be friends first, I'm even hearing acquaintances being, this is being patient about a long-term partner. You're excited to get started. Okay. Okay. I'll head over to the extended. See what's going on with them in their current energy, their near future, and the final outcome of the connection between you two in this lifetime. So if you're interested in any of that information, along with messages from Spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you as well as timing, feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below. And I'll see you guys over there. Bye. Bye.